I will show you a way to analyze your social media or add performance data that will make you look like a data scientist in front of your team or clients. I will use scatter plots not to find a correlation, but to do a cluster analysis or in another way to say it, I will classify my top performing posts based on two variables. Let me show you with an example. In this scatter plot, I am visualizing all my Instagram posts and I want to compare them by two metrics the post impressions or the visibility, and the post engagement rate or the effectiveness. What is interesting here is that the engagement rate is not necessarily related with the visibility. As you can see, this post has very good engagement rate, but very low visibility. This is counterintuitive because I will tell that, or I will think that the Instagram algorithm will reward me with higher visibility for this post, but this is not the case. Also, this post, very good visibility, but very low engagement rate. That's why clusters will help us to spot this post based on two variables, not only engagement or not only visibility. As you can see, we are drawing the average engagement rate in this vertical line and horizontally, we are drawing the average post impressions. In this first quadrant, I am classifying my top performers because these posts have very good engagement rate or better than average engagement rate and better than average post impressions. And these two posts in particular, I will call them like my outliers, uh, another way to say it. So these are my top performers uh, in general in terms of engagement and visibility. What I will do is I will look at them and maybe I will create posts similar to them because I want to replicate the success. Now in this other quadrant, I have posts with very good visibility but low engagement rate. And finally, in this quadrant, low performers, low visibility and low engagement rate. And I want to avoid performers, uh, performers like these ones. Now, how do I create this chart? Let me show you. I will go to other chart and I will choose this current plot and I will paste it right here. Now, the dots are different posts and the way I can classify this post, as I mentioned, is using the post caption. With post caption, every different caption will be a different dot in our scatter plot. The X metric or the metric in the X axis will be the post engagement rate. And for the Y axis, it will be the post impressions. Now we are almost done. Now we need to change some things in our design. I will go to style and I will change the colors. Instead of none, I will set uh, colors by value. And I will remove the grid lines as I always do in all the exercises. I also will change the color of the text. The text won't be black, it will be gray. And I will now draw this average line. So I will go to add reference line and I will start with, instead of constant value, I will set a metric and the metric will be post engagement rate. By default, Looker Studio will show me the average post engagement rate and I will call this label uh, engagement. So this will be my average engagement. My second line, will be post impressions, but first I want to change the thickness. So the thickness will be two and I will make this purple. And now the second line won't be engagement, will be uh, visibility. So the second metric is post impressions. The calculation will be the average and the label will be visibility. Now we are almost done. I will change also the thickness. It will be one. This one will be different and I will make it purple as well. Finally, I will only change the background as I always do. So I will change the background, I will remove the grid lines and I am done. This is how you can create a scattered plot on Looker Studio to analyze your social media performers or your ad performance or even your SEO, whatever you can do. I think this kind of analysis is very useful. It is super simple and actually looks like sophisticated math. I will see you in the next lesson.